Hi, everybody. So uh, for Math 60, we're going to go through some limits, some algebraic limits. So we've been discussing kind of what limits look like. And uh, we discussed that we could do substitution, which we can't ever forget. Um, but sometimes when you do substitution, you have problems, like you're dividing by 0. Uh, so let's take a look at some problems. Uh, hopefully, we'll do three, three of these problems today. So this first one, the black one, uh, the limit as x approaches 7 of x minus 7 divided by x squared minus 49. And when we check the denominator here, when we substitute 7 into x squared, we get 49. So we end up with 49 over 49, and that equals 0 over 0, which is no good. We don't want that. We don't want 0 over 0. All right. So um, we're going to do some algebra. So let's see what we can do. Um, we have the limit as x goes to 7, uh, but we could factor this. We could factor the denominator. So um, x minus 7 over, uh, let's see, x. This is a difference of squares. So this winds up um, x plus 7, x minus 7. So these cancel. Now, we're allowed to cancel in limits because um, that's the canceling really only takes into account the situation of x equaling 7. And we're not worried about when x equals 7. We're, about, we're worried about when x gets near 7. So this is actually equal to the limit as x approaches 7 of, uh, let's see, we wind up with x plus 7 on the bottom. We wind up with 1 on the top. Noting that these are the same thing, except x cannot equal 7, which we're not worried about. It's a limit. We're not worried about when it equals 7. We're worried about when it's around 7. And then we can substitute. Once we do this, now we substitute. Um, so we can't ever forget about substitution. We have to always wind up doing substitution in the process. And we get 1 over uh, 7 plus 7, which equals 1 over 14. All right. So what that means is um, at f of 7, uh, the, function, the function approaches the function approaches y equals 14. not y equals 14, y equals 1 over 14. All right. So the function gets really, really close to this value when x gets really, really close to 7. Okay, That seems like a hole. We'll talk about that in the next couple of days. Let's take a look at the purple one. The limit as, oh, this is not written correctly. Um, this is the limit as h approaches 0. No, is that, no it's, it's, it's h approaches 4, actually. H approaches 4. Let me make sure that's what we wanted for that problem. Yeah, that seems right. H approaches 4. So if we substitute a 4 in the denominator here, um, 4 minus 4 is 0. We wind up with 0 on the bottom. I don't even care about worrying about what's at the top. We wind up with 0 over the bottom, which is a problem. So again, we're going to do some algebra. In this case, um, we're going to decide to expand the numerator. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. There's a lot of hoping here. So expanding the numerator gets us this. And uh, then we can combine like terms in the numerator. Notice I'm writing the limit as h approaches 4 each time. Uh, that's good calculus habit. Uh, h squared minus 5h plus 4 over h minus 4. And I did this in hopes to factor. And uh, this numerator will factor. So we're doing a bunch of algebra in hopes that we can get something to factor and reduce, because we want to get rid of this thing in the denominator. So h, h, h minus 4 down here is still there. This 4 means we have a 4 and a 1. Um, it could be and we have a 2 and a 2, but we don't, because we have a 5 here. So this plus sign means they're both negative. That Combined with that negative means they're both negative. And there we go. So now when we cancel, this winds up being h minus 1 over 1, provided, provided h does not equal 4, all right, because that's the stipulation we have. But h doesn't equal 4 because it's the limit. So h, h could equal 3.999999 and 4.00001. As long as it doesn't equal 4, we can do this. And let's see. Then we substitute. 
four goes in the numerator, we wind up with three over one, and this limit equals three. <coughs> okay, so the limit evaluates the three, meaning this function, when h gets near four, the output of the function gets near three. All right, here's another one. Ooh, tricky, tricky. This doesn't even look like we know anything about it. The fact is, this is in the form of x squared minus one. So this factors like the difference of squares. This, this numerator factors like the difference of squares. Now let's see, is, maybe we should actually think about substitution first. Can we substitute it here? In the denominator, that's where the problems happen. Four to the zero minus one. Oh, four to the zero is equal to one. So this is one minus one, so that equals zero. So we cannot substitute. Okay, repeat again, we cannot substitute. Four to the zero, four to the t, substituting the zero gives us one. Anything raised to the zero power gives us one. So we wind up with zero in the numerator or in the denominator, we can't do that. So we're gonna factor the, the numerator, the limit as t goes to zero. Let's see, this is gonna factor to four to the t minus one times four to the t plus one. And the, new, the denominator still says four to the t minus one. All right, so let's see, four, let's just make sure that we did this right. If we multiply four to the t times four to the t, we get four to the t squared, right? We get four to the t squared. And that equals four to t we can multiply the two and the t. All right, so that is the first term. This, these are conjugates, so there is no middle term, and minus one times positive one is one. So, so this does factor that way. All right, a little tricky factoring, but you actually know how to do that. It, doesn't, it may look new, but it's not really new. Um, and then we can cancel, right? We can cancel as long as t does not equal zero, which it doesn't, because we're talking about the limit at zero. We're talking about the limit as t goes to zero, but not at zero exactly. And then we can substitute. So now we have four to the zero plus one over one. This cancels all of this, by the way. This is not a negative one sitting there. Um, and four to the zero is one. So this is comes out to one plus one, which is two. Okay? Sure, there's lots of questions, right? Ask questions in class, right? But I hope this gives you a few good examples.